All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Unmodded Challenge Zoo. Um, in the last episode, we left off with this ibex that we just received uh, as part of a challenge. So we're gonna get a enclosure set up for him very quickly. Um, but before I get to that, I did have some name requests uh, for the animals, so I, c I will go ahead and do that. This is the female, so this was. Uh, Jasmine and this was the male so oh, that, oh, hold on game challenge the uh, marketing department is preparing a new zoo brochure as requires pictures of the following okay a guest holding an ice cold soda and a guest sitting on a bench I think that probably should be fairly easy okay not Al or all it's Aladdin, which could be spelled right, I think. <laughs> Close enough. If it's wrong, I'll change it. But okay, so we got Jasmine and Aladdin. I'm sure you guys get the reference. <laughs> Any other request was, uh, is this the male? Yeah, so that's Cupid. Running from Cupid. Okay, I was like, what is going on here? This doesn't look good. Um, I think this was it. Venus. Yeah, that was it. Okay, and then there is a baby peacock in here, and soon to be a baby um, um, camel as well, if you could name. Also, um, Three musk ox, musk ox. I have such a hard time saying that word or that name. And then um, I think one of them is pregnant. I do need to expand this exhibit. I think it's not quite large enough. I can expand. I can expand it out that way. So I'm going to do that soon. Um, but first, I gotta deal with the ibex. So I'm actually gonna pause this. Um, I didn't get any requests to name the zoo, so you guys could still do that if you have any ideas. So, just throwing that out there. I also got a tip that I should keep the animals separated into um, sections based on the biome, which is something I was thinking about doing anyways, but I wasn't sure if it really mattered. But they say that it um, it does affect your rating, so I figure I might as well do that. So we'll see desert, and this will sort of uh, morph into savanna as it gets it goes up this way. Um, uh, I guess I'll do the small tundra area here. But I wonder if it's okay to combine tundra with alpine tundra. I kind of I think I'm going to do that. If people have a problem with it, or people think that that'll cause a problem, then they can let me know. I think it's probably okay though, and it's. Can more convenient for me. So let's start off. Let's look at my challenges actually. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab our path. I'm going to extend it this way a little ways. I want to extend this exhibit. And let's see, as far as plants go, I've been using, is this what I've been using? Yeah. Let's put some of those around. A few rocks. And still don't have any trees, I don't think. And I'll put some of these plants around as well, because I have been using those also. A little bit more food. Don't need to go overboard, just put a little bit. I think that's okay. Is there any toys that they can have that I haven't given them already? I think I'm going to sneeze, by the way. No, we're good. <laughs> I thought for sure I was going to sneeze. I did not want to have that on. Uh, Recording. 
uh, that have been very loud. So Jasmine is going to give birth, so um, that's cool. Alright, so this looks pretty good to me. I will put in a gate. I want to put it basically like that one is over there. So we'll go. Oh, we got our 100th guest already. That's fast. Is that how I had it? Or is that wider than I want? No, that's right. Okay. So I'll extend this path a little ways, like that, like that. Let's put the asphalt going down there. Wish I had the straight pads, but that's a mod, so oh well. Go there and then go there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the ibex. No, it's not ibex. Is it an ibex? It is an ibex. Okay, I'll do that right there. Um, I should get a zookeeper soon. Let's look at this baby real quick and see what it is. Is it a male? It's a female. So that's another one you guys could name. Uh, as far as the names go, I don't know how many suggestions I'll really get um, or requests or whatever, but I'll just kind of do first come, first serve. Unless something is inappropriate or I've already used it. Okay, so let's take out the trash. I do have a maintenance worker who's over there not doing his job. Seems to be the way it goes. Okay, so now we can go do the eye bags. Finally. Oh, I should extend this too. Let's put one more of these. Make sure it's facing the right way. We'll put two more actually. And we'll put a couple more benches. Put some trash cans there. Alright, cool. Um, now we can do this. So, let's start with the fencing. We can't use the short fence here. Apparently they'll get out. So, I think I'll go... What did I use over here with them? Chain link? I guess I'll go chain link as well. I like that better than these other ones. What's this? How does this look? You know what? I don't... I don't hate that, but don't know if it's what I want to do. Uh, I don't like these wooden rail ones that much. I'm not going to do, guess can't see through those. I'm not going to do this one, I don't think. Yeah, I don't really like that. I'll try this, I think. Eh. Hold on a second. Let's just build this rest of it. I'm going to build it bigger than I need to, but just that's just because I'm assuming we'll get more Ibex in the future. And maybe I can put them in with another animal as well. So let's start with... Start with dirt. Or rock. Wait, I gotta finish this. I might replace that. Like I said, I'm not totally sold on it yet. Uh, we'll do this shelter. And not a lot in the way of plants, so we'll just scatter some of these around. Any trees? There's one tree. Okay, um, food. I think I'll actually give him a little bit of a pool here. Not there though. Um, we'll, we'll put it on the, e the edge here. I think I replace my tree. Okay. 
Okay, rocks. Do you have any rocks? No rocks. I'll give him a salt lick and scratching post. Okay. I think that is good. We can go ahead and put him in now. Okay, so they have an Ibex now. Ibex, I need more space. I don't, I don't know if that's right. How could that? How could you need more space in that? That's quite a lot of space. Alrighty. So, yeah, I guess so. Now I remember why I use the biome and space hack. Let's see if this is going to be enough. Is this the right one? Yeah. If we go to here and knock out these, is that going to work for him? Are you serious? No. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, that's ridiculous. Okay, let's go ahead and put in the right biome. Two more plants. Alright, a couple more trees. And we'll kind of actually spread this stuff out a little bit more since there's more space. And I'll put a little bit more food. I don't need to, but I will. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay, that's a little bigger than I wanted it to be. Um, I do like, yeah, I'm going to keep this fence. I like it. So, that is, oh, I got to put these as gates. So, I think I'm going to get a zookeeper now. I don't, I didn't actually already get one, did I? Why am I clicking on that? That's not what I want. Um, no, I didn't get a zookeeper. So I'm going to get one and have him. I think I'm going to have him just sort of, or her, apparently, just take care of these two exhibits because they're the two largest ones. And that way I can just focus on these other two. Wow, that's a lot of poop in there. Um, okay, I gotta make sure I'm watching this exhibit because apparently these guys are going to poop a lot. Okay. You good? You're good. Oh, more poop. I think they're good on food, so alright, that looks good. Let's go check out camels, make sure they're alright. Hey, wait a second, where did you come from? You're not doing your assignments, you're just doing whatever you want. Clean up this poop, is it good? Camel butt, okay, moving on. Let's see, uh, Mox Ox 3 is going to give birth, alright. Now let's go do that challenge if we can find the right people. So we need someone drinking a soda and someone sitting on a bench. And I'm stuck. So there should be somebody drinking a soda over here. Is that that's cotton candy. So this is the soda place. Are you gonna go get a soda? You should get a soda. I think you're gonna get cotton candy. I don't know what you're doing. Nobody seems to have a soda. What, you're gonna get a soda, right? No, you're throwing away your garbage. Now what are you gonna do? I think you should get a soda. That would be a wise decision. Uh, have I put restroom? Yes, I did. I put restrooms by the entrance. Okay, I was like, I don't know if I put any restrooms. 
Why are you guys wandering around through here? You're not supposed to be here. You don't take shortcuts. Um, okay. Oh, you were just sitting on a bench and now you're up. Dang it. Okay. There's probably somebody sitting on a bench over here. And you just got up as well. Somebody's got to sit down. They're always sitting down. So all they do is complain about there's nowhere to sit. Anyone over here? Jeez. It's like the only time you actually need to get a picture of somebody sitting down, there's nobody sitting down. Oh, you're about to sit down. Yes. Go that way. No. Okay, that's one. Now I need somebody drinking a soda. You got a soda? No, I don't know what that is. You have a soda. No, that didn't count. It's too, it was just too uh, late there. Why am I paying that guy? What's your name? Worker Selikov. Russian, maybe? Well, you're not working, I know that much. Okay, yeah, hold on. Sweet trash, empty trash, empty. I didn't know you could do this, actually. I want you to do all that, and the problem is you were doing none of that, so change that, would you? Okay, let's see if we can find someone drinking a soda now. Are you gonna get a soda? Anyone here a soda? Hey, get back here. You don't. I need to fence these people in. They need cages themselves. You're gonna get a soda. Yes. Okay. Marketing has received your pictures of a guest drinking a nice cold soda and a guest sitting on a bench. New glossy brochure has been distributed around your community and news of your tour is spreading rapidly. Excellent. Oh, we got another Ibex. Female Ibex. Let's go ahead and put that in here. Oh, hold on. Got a challenge. Marine show challenge. Pinniped trainers quarterly like some photos of pinnipeds such as sea lions and watches. Yeah. Performing particular tricks. No. I don't want to do that. Okay. That'll work. And now you can go away. I don't need any more males, just one of each is fine. Honey badger. Um uh, I could do the Aurochs. Technically, I put I could put it in here, but then this is not that big of an exhibit. I wonder how they'd feel about that. Ah, oh, those peacocks are pooping everywhere. How can you poop this much? This is ridiculous. You have a donation box here, right? Yeah, I wonder how much money I'm making from those donation boxes. Um, where can I check that? Is that it? Yes, okay. Uh, wow, a lot of money actually. I want to, I think I'm gonna name these donation boxes so I know who's making me money. So this, we'll do. Foul box. And this will be Camel Box. Okay. Okay, we'll just go. Box box. The last is over here, which will be the Ibex. I, I, oops, sorry, Ibex box. I hit the pop filter there. Not sure if you guys heard that. Um, I think I have one more box though, don't I? 
camel box, ox box. No, that's all. Okay. So that'll work. Just gotta get in here and clean this up. Not as bad as the pea fowl, but it's still a little messy. Okay. So I guess what I could try and do is stick the oryx in here and see how. Okay, they need more space. Yeah, that's too much. So what we're going to do is just sort of do another exhibit on the other side. And for this one, we'll use use this. Actually, can I use this for the camels? Because I like that better than the chain link. Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and replace it. Yeah, that looks nicer, I think. Okay, we gotta get rid of these rocks and all these plants. Then take this down to there. And I'm assuming they'll be happy with that. Hoping they'll be happy. Oh, shoot. Hoping they'll be happy with the size, otherwise that would be a little bit annoying. I know, I know. Okay, so put that there. Phoenix is pregnant again. I want to do something about those peafowl. Um, I don't want to put the large rocks. I'll put a medium rock in the middle. Um, is this another? Yeah, I don't want to do those with the marine shows and all that. I don't want to do that. Um, I, got quite a, I have more plants to work with now. I could try to make something a little bit nicer looking, but... I think we'll just sort of go with what we got for now. We can always spruce it up a little bit. Um, is this the trees that I've been using? Yeah. This isn't going to get rid of all the... No, good. Okay. Alright, I guess I could try and put some of these. Can I fit these around anywhere? Not really. Oh, uh, I think that's good. Let's just put a little pond in the back. And fix up the biome a little bit. Okay, that should do it. All right, now let's get the other orcs. I think we have, so that was the male. I'll put, I don't really think I need two females. Well, I'll, I'll put them anyways. Okay, so, Venus is going to lay an egg. Let's just get the path in here. 
And I think we can call it good for this episode. Uh, I don't want to do marine shows. Give me a different challenge. I don't know if they're going to though. I don't know why it's in that insistent on me doing those. I don't remember it doing that. But the right way. Yeah. One there, not there. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That'll work. Now this is Forks box. Cool. So that's in. That's another exhibit. Um, let's look at. Okay, so profits are okay. We are building quite a bit, which I think is slowing us down from making as much money as we could be. How much money is this stuff making? The pretzel cart isn't making much of anything. Why is that? What's your problem, pretzel cart? Just nobody likes pretzels, I guess. Which is weird because they're delicious. Um, everything else is making decent profit. Um, let's look at the donation boxes. So the camels have made the most. Peafowl, yeah. So that makes sense based on how long they've been in and where they are positioned in the zoo. Maybe I should. No, I think I think it all looks pretty good so far. Um, what I will do is probably in the next episode focus a little bit more on the guest areas and see if we can. Because I think we have a few more options now, so maybe we can make that look a little bit nicer and also just add more stuff that's going to make people want to stick around. I still need a place for um, what do you call those things? ATM machines. So. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you all in the next one.